Most people agree that in the coming years, AI will change the world, but nobody really knows how. Now, you might have seen this recent trend of pictures which have been painted in the style of famous artists. Now, whilst this is currently a trend, it's something more. This is going to change how the world consumes and creates. Now, the music industry is a very interesting landscape for AI, and as hard as it is to hear, it's also very easy for AI to infiltrate the music industry and potentially end a lot of careers. Picture the scene. Write me a song in the style of Max Martin, one of the most famous songwriters in the entire world. With so much data, it can start to think about lyrics, subject matter, hooks, tempos, feel, all of this, and then deliver it to you in literally seconds. But it doesn't stop there. Take my song and produce it in the style of Rick Rubin. Now, I have a song written in the style of Max Martin, produced in the style of Rick Rubin, all in a couple of seconds. And then you could go further. Mix my song in the style of Bob Clearmountain. Master my track in the style of Bob Ludwig. All of this in a matter of minutes. And how much would all that cost? Nothing completely free. Imagine if I could get Salvador Dali to paint a picture of me. How much would that be worth? Millions? It'd be, it would be priceless. Oh no, wait, that would also be free too. Now I understand, we are not getting Salvador Dali to paint a picture of me. We are getting it in the style of, in the same way as this track is being produced in the style of Rick Rubin. But the results are almost identical. Now this should bring up so many copyright issues, but as yet, this doesn't break any rule because of that term, in the style of. Think of it like this. Several years back, I was in the studio with a guitarist called Guthrie Govan. Now Guthrie is thought of as probably the greatest guitarist in the world, technically. He's a phenomenal player. And we were doing a bunch of tracks for a guitar magazine called Guitarist Magazine in the UK. We were doing a blues special where Guthrie would perform in the style of very famous guitarists like B.B. King and Robin Ford. And so we were doing the backing track, Guthrie came in and then played all of the guitar over that. There was no copyright issues because Guthrie was playing in the style of. The thing is, Guthrie is so good that it felt like every single guitarist was in the room playing their part. And what makes Guthrie so ridiculously special is he did the entire thing in one take. But the point is, he was able to mimic almost identically every single guitarist without paying millions and millions for the royalty, for the licensing, and for the performance of those great guitarists. But now we're moving into this new era and surely something will need to be changed because now we are dealing with someone's life's work and how it can be replicated in a matter of seconds. Imagine, write me a script in the style of Mr. Beast. Write me lyrics in the style of Eminem. And all of it is there in a couple of seconds. So the big question then becomes, can AI take over the music industry? Of course it can, absolutely. Over a period of time, this technology is able to take over a lot of jobs instantly for free. If you go back 20 years, you'd walk into a studio and there would be a bass player playing bass on a track. Nowadays, how many times do you go into that studio and it's someone saying, I'll just program it in. I'll just play a bit of keyboards. It'll be fine. I'll have it done in five minutes. Rendering so much work out of the hands of real bass players. Is it fair? Doesn't matter. It's happened. Now imagine this from a record label point of view. As much new music produced in any way that you choose, dictating trends and following trends at the same time, no fees, no royalties, no artist breakup, no tantrums, work 24 seven. We are talking producers, musicians, artists, mix engineers, lyricists, PR, even artwork. So does that mean this is the beginning of the end of the music industry for humans as we know it? Well, no, of course not because of human connection. Human connection can't be replicated. And also your delivery, how you communicate, how you perform, how you get your message across, what you stand for. So as music becomes even more accessible and easier to produce for literally no money whatsoever, what does that mean? It means there's gonna be a lot more people releasing music and therefore the standard of branding and who you are and the marketing around it is unfortunately gonna to have to improve. 
It means you need a stronger connection with your audience. You need content and music which is more relatable for you as a brand as well as your music, your lyrics and your subject matter. But here is the good news. Right now, AI is not a threat. AI is a tool. A tool that can help you speed up the process, improve the areas that you need to work on that you know you're struggling with, whether that's lyrics or subject matter or arrangement or musicianship or artwork or PR or social media content. As yet, this isn't about AI coming in and stealing jobs. This is an opportunity and a tool that you can use to spread the word about you and your music and build your audience, building your brand. Now, if you haven't delved into the world of AI, then I suggest you do because it's going to blow your mind. Go and check out OpenAI or ChatGPT. There's several out there. And just go and see what can be done in just a couple of seconds. So what are your thoughts on AI? Is this an amazing tool to help you grow? Or is this a, a cheat code for unsigned artists who don't have enough talent? Or is this just a, a soulless paint by numbers gimmick. I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. So let me know your thoughts. But before you go, I made this video, which I think can help you if you are releasing music right now. So go and check it out. And I'll catch you guys soon.